let's make this little exercise on friction loss in fittings and valves. This is the first introductory exercise. So recall that we have got this formula right here. Where is the up here? We just need to know the k value and the velocity at which the fluid is passing through this fitting or valve, and you will be able to calculate the friction loss. So we have this valve right here, let's say we have point A and we have this point right here, let's call it B so our analysis will be here the mechanical energy equation we can calculate the k-value mm. we can suppose that there is no change on height we can see that the velocity even though we cannot ignore the velocity they are the same so they go away pressure drop, PA equals PB so there's we can cancel them and uh, the energy requirements are this so what we are actually doing is calculating the k value for this valve so we know that we have no pressure drop, no gravity changes, no anything, no pump, not work out we just know that HF when doing the experiments were 0.5 views, we are losing 0.5 views how do we got this value? Well, actually we're going to have one pump right here and you will see that the pump uh, uses this amount of energy and the amount of energy is making the fluid to move and that's how you calculate the HF even though we have a pump, we are not doing the balance including the pump, we are doing the balance only on the valve so the energy is here, we got it 0.5 so the energy being lost or well, the energy that the pump provides is the energy here so it's minus minus, you got this the velocity once again, even though we cancel it because they are same here you need to know the velocity inside the valves which is this value right here to the second power we got this and we got this, so we got everything but k so let's find the value of k and we find out that the value of this valve or k value is 1.384 and the good thing is that once we got this we can let's say use the same valve and apply and if we operate different velocities or different volumetric flow rates we will be able to use this k value, k value and use it for the uh, calculation of energy being lost so right here we, we got the k value if we have one velocity we can calculate the loss right here if you got another velocity, we can still calculate the loss. You need more problems such as this. Just go to courses, applied fluid dynamics, go to the part number one, and go to the section of solve problems or even more theory. You can get some quizzes to test yourself and some slideshows. And even if this was a free preview, you want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course. The link is in the description of the video you will get all access not only that you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface so for instance you were analyzing or studying pumps you have it here the pump block and then you have the sections if you were for example studying the types of pumps you can go here and you have all the classes right here not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these so for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. If you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.